Hi, everybody. In this video, we are using Genos with Cubase uh, uh, version 9. It's not Pro, it is Cubase LE Elements 9. Pozdrav svima, uzimamo kombinaciju u kojoj radimo studijsko snimanje sa Cubaseom LE Element 9. Znači, obična verzija nije profesionalna. Da vidimo kako to funkcioniše. Kombinacija između Genosa i Cubasea elementa. Combination in Genus, Cubase Elements, we are waiting. Okay, Elements, we have already Elements. Now, we will say new project. Let's say more, no project. Or I can open my template. If I go a new project, if I go here, open other, no project, or tvori ovo nešto drugo, Moj template za Genos, my template for Genos. In this situation I don't need actually template, but I want to show you how it will not work on the same way like with Pro version of Cubase, because I'm using template for Pro version of the Cubase. Ja ne trebam template, da ću vam pokazati zašto to neće da radi u Cubase u profesionalnoj verziji. Now I'll decide where I want to record it. Uh, say in studio music, okay. Sada odlučujem gdje ću to snimit. Studio music. In this situation I want to make sure that everything is coming from Genos. That you can see digital world, digital world station port 1 and going to Genos. Yamaha Genos. Kao što vidite, sve dolazi iz Genosa i sve odlazi u Genos. I'm using my template for device manager. Uzimam svoj template za device manager. If I go under devices, mini device manager, and there you can see my template. If I remove my template here, then I have to install that template again, because now it's nothing here. Ako ga maknem, sad ga moram uzeti ponovno jer nemam ga više tu. If I say install device, ako kažem da hoću da ga instaliram, there is no template in version of 9. But you can find template on internet from somebody or you can make your own template. Ovdje nemamo verziji 9, verzije uh, templata za Genos. Ima u 10 Pro, ali vi to ovdje nema. Znači morate napraviti template, naći ga na internetu ili da vam neko da. I have my template that I made long time before Cubase 10 came. Ja imam moj template koji sam napravio. In this case I have not install, I have import. Ja ću import template. Ovdje je moj Genos template. That is my Genos template. Say OK. And say that I'm using Genos. Let's OK, use my games. Output, digital world station number two. Port number two, because I'm using Genos in Arranger mode. Port two, zato što uzmam Genosa u Arranger mode. Not a possible. But now, all my channels, they don't have output proper. I have to change to output Yamaha Genos. Every of those channels. Instead of changing them, I will just open again the same project. It will save time. Umjesto da sam sam promijenio ponovno izlaze na Genosa, samo sam zatvorio pa ću ponovno otvoriti isti projekat. Brže. Now we have that. Every channel goes to my genus. And here I can see list of instruments. And I can send messages to Genos and find anything from Genos. Any sound, whatever I want. Sada imam konekciju sa Genosom i mogu da šaljem poruku Genosu, da biram boje i da radim šta hoću. Now, when I have template, I have uh, connection with Genos. With all sounds, with everything that is inside of Genos. Now let us try to do that in the same way like Cubase Pro. Da pokušamo da radimo na isti način sa Cubase on Pro. I have to go under transport. 
project serialization, you make sure that MIDI clock destination is Genus, digital workstation. Moramo da obezbedimo da je digital workstation MIDI clock destination. We have to make sure that on Genus, the same story, clock should be on USB 1. Now, let us press recording and start recording. Genus is ready. We have mass. Why do we have mass? Because we cannot same use. We cannot. We cannot. We cannot use on the same way uh, Cubase nine and Genus like Cubase ten and Genus Pro. As ovi mamo zbrku zato što ne možemo na isti način koristiti Cubase devet običnu verziju sa Genusom kao što koristimo Pro verziju sa Genus. So that's why uh, now we have to do something else because we cannot use on the same way Cubase 10 and Cubase uh, uh, 10 Pro and Cubase 9 regular version. Now we have to do some tricks. Erase everything. Erase everything from the beginning. Erase all tracks except one. Obrisati sve trake samo ne jedne. Actually, okay, mamo samo jedno. On this one track, we will, instead of number uh, nine, we will go to number any. That means we are recording all channels on one track. Mjesto broja kanala biramo any, znači bilo koji kanal. Now when we have uh, any channel, we have to make sure that we have synchronization engaged in Genos and as well transport synchronization is already engaged. Moramo biti sigurno da je synchronizacija uključena. Now when we have synchronization it should work perfectly. Prepare Genos on the same way like Cubase 10. Press recording Enjoy your music. That's it. Now we have recording. Just a moment. There is recording. Let us listen to this recording. But before we start listening to that recording, we have to disconnect with the synchronization. Here. Or on Genos by going to setting and instead of USB clock, internal clock. Let us listen to that recording and see does it work properly. Everything is working perfectly fine. We can continue work until we finish globally whole song. Sve radi excellent. Bez problema možemo nastaviti recording dok ne završimo pjesmu. Now you will ask me, but we don't see all tracks. Sada me možete vidat, ali ne vidimo track. It is simple thing. Just highlight this. Put those brackets from here to here. Ovo ovdje obilješte. Stavite ove oznake. Gore. Go under MIDI and say the sole part, separate channels, znači sad separate odvojni kanali, the sole part, okay. 
Whoa, now we have all tracks. Now let us check, do they work separately very well? Now you can see this track is here muted. It's gray. But all of those are visible. Nice yellow color. Let us listen to that. Bass guitar, bass guitar, piano. So, that is perfect way how to use Genos with Cubase 9 and Cubase 10 LE. And it works on the same, you will get the same result like with Cubase 10, just in another way, working on another way. Dopčete iste rezultate kao sa Cubase 10 i evo kako se to radi, samo na drugi način. Of course, Cubase 10 Pro is much better software, but it's more expensive, but this software is just 100 bucks and you will do every MIDI recording. Svakako da je Cubase koji je pro verzija profesionalnija. I will just mention something else. Click on one track and you will see here. Now you can change instruments. You can do whatever you want to do. You can change tempo. You can do whatever you can do in Cubase 10. Not whatever you can do in pro version, but you can do most of the things. And actually there are always some kind of tricks that you can use if you want to get something from uh, this LE version. I uvijek postoji još masa trikova u kojim uh, od LE verzije možete da dobijete stvari koje se nalaze u profesionalnoj verziji. Ali ne sve, jer svakako da se razlika u verziji, ali većinu. Thank you for watching this video. I promise that I will make this video and I am keeping my promises always. Hvala na gledanje ovoga kanala um, i za ovaj video. Ja sam običio da ću ga napraviti i napravit ću ga. Of course I can promise everything. I don't have time for everything. But I will do whatever uh, uh, I can do for you guys. Naravno ja ne mogu obećati sve, uraditi sve, ali ću uraditi što god mogu što je u mojoj moći koliko imam vremena.